Welcome to FTCC. My name is Melinda Pash and I'm a history instructor and advisor here at Fayetteville Tech. I am so excited that you are joining the ranks of the Trojans. Okay, so you're a Trojan, now what? Coming to a new school can be really scary. It doesn't matter if you're a new high school graduate or an adult learner coming back to finish up your education. College can seem daunting. Even something as small as finding your classes or logging into your email can seem impossible. Never mind figuring out financial aid or your degree plan. But that's why we're here today, to help get you on track and get off to a great start. Most of you are probably registered for classes already, but two of the biggest questions I get from students every semester are how do I know what classes to take and how do I register for classes? And those are really important questions because you want to make sure that the classes you take move you towards your degree, get covered by financial aid, and fit your style of learning. And you want to make sure that you get in them. Actually, there is someone right here on campus who can help you with all of that, your advisor. Once you are in a program, an advisor is assigned to you and can help you figure out what classes to take and even register you for those classes. As soon as an advisor is assigned to you, you should receive an email in your FTCC email telling you who your advisor is and how to reach them. Do you know how to find out who your advisor is? It's easy. To find out who your advisor is, just go into WebAdvisor. WebAdvisor is the central hub for almost everything you need at FTCC. Now, if you look there under the Advisor button in WebAdvisor and don't have an advisor listed, don't worry. One just hasn't been assigned yet, but you can still get help. Every instructor has the ability to help you pick classes and get registered, as do the counselors in the Tony Rand Student Center. And you can also go to Horace Sisk 616 or Cumberland Hall 378, and one of the secretaries there can help you get set up with an advisor. But wait, there's so much more you can do in WebAdvisor. You can check your financial aid status, see if you owe any money, print out your tuition statement, and request a transcript. All of that is right in WebAdvisor. If you click on student planning, you can even register for classes, check your progress in the degree plan, find your GPA, and much more. If you are choosing classes yourself, it's really helpful to know what kind of course you're enrolling in, because we have a style of course for every type of learner. At FTCC, we are a 24-hour school with lots of options for classes. Students can take 16-week or 8-week classes, and those can be taken in face-to-face, -face, fully online, or blended format. Blended is where part of your work is face-to-face -face in class and part is done online. You can always tell the type of class by the section number. Every class has a set of numbers, like History 111, and then it'll have four digits after. The first digit in that section number always tells you the length of that class. A zero means it's a 16-week class. A one means it's the first eight weeks. A two means it's a second eight-week class. The second digit in the section number can always tell you where or what format the class is in. So for example, if the second digit is zero, you know that that class takes place on the Fayetteville Tech campus. It's a face-to-face -face class. If it's a nine, it's online. If it's a B, it's a blended class. So that means part of your work will be done face-to-face -face and part of it will be done online. Let's take a little quiz. Here's our first example, English 111-0001. What kind of class is this? How long is it? Well, we know by the first zero that that class is a 16-week class, and we know by the second zero that it's located on the Fayetteville campus. It's a face-to-face -face day class. Here's another example, Marketing 120-1902. We can see from the section number here by the one in the first digit that this is a first eight-week class. We can see by the nine, the second digit, that it's going to be fully online. Let's try one more. Biology 111-2B01. 
We can see from this that it's going to be a second eight-week class. That two in the first digit tells us that. The B for the second digit tells us it's blended. Part of it will be online and part of it will be face-to-face. -face. When you're choosing your classes, make sure to pick the type that you will do best in. An online schedule can seem really attractive, especially if you work full-time. But if you need the stimulus of a teacher right in front of you, face-to-face -face classes, even if they have to be in the evening, might be a better choice. Once you're in your classes, make sure that you stay in your classes. All classes at FTCC have an attendance requirement. It doesn't matter if you're taking a face-to-face -face class, an online class, or a blended class. You must attend or you will be dropped either as a no-show if you don't attend the class before the census date or for non-attendance if you miss either two consecutive weeks or 20% total of the class. The census date is just the 10% point of the class. In other words, 90% of the class time is left. You have to be really careful with this in eight-week classes because the census date comes up really fast. Every semester, I have a student or two in my first eight-week section of World History Online that is taking online because they work all week and they plan to do their coursework on the weekend. But often, the census date comes on Thursday or Friday of the first week of class. So if they wait until the weekend, they are already no-showed. In every class, whether it is face-to-face, -face, online, blended, whatever, you must show participation before the census date or you will be dropped from the class as a no-show. That's really easy in a face-to-face -face class. Just by showing up, you've shown participation. Let me just say here, it's a really good idea to come to campus and locate your classes before they begin. Our campus, as you can see on the map, is pretty large and it can be stressful finding classes that first day. But how do you show participation in an online class? Each online class will have a specific assignment at the very beginning that you must complete to demonstrate you have participated. It might be as simple as an introduction quiz or a discussion board or something else. So you need to look for that as soon as your class opens, read through the syllabus and any announcements to get you on track in the class. Blended classes can be a little tricky. If you have a face-to-face -face meeting before the census date, Coming to that class will prevent you from being no-showed. But if it does not meet prior to the census date, you will have some sort of assignment online that you must complete. Even if you get through the census date, you can still be dropped from a class. If you miss either two consecutive weeks or 20% of the class meetings in a face-to-face -face, or 20% of the work in an online class, now, you might be thinking it doesn't matter if you end up with a withdrawal, a W for a class, or two, or ten, but it absolutely matters. It's true that a W doesn't hurt your academic GPA, but it can hurt you in some other pretty significant ways. First, you can only attempt a class twice, three times if you get a dean's approval. So if you enroll in something and don't finish it, and then end up taking the class and doing poorly, it can impact whether or not you have the specific courses you need to graduate. As importantly, W's have the power to affect your financial aid. Every semester, FTCC looks at two things, a student's grade point average, their GPA, and their SAP, their Satisfactory Academic Progress. To be eligible for federal financial aid, for all those things like Pell Grants and loans, a student must maintain a 2.0 GPA and they must complete at least 67% of the classes that they attempt. In other words, if you enroll in a class and don't finish it, if you get dropped as a no-show or for non-attendance, or if you drop yourself, it counts against your SAP. Even though you can drop yourself from a class through WebAdvisor, it's a really great idea to go and speak to someone in the Financial Aid Office and Tony Rand Student Center first, just to see what impact that will have on your financial aid. Incidentally, the Financial Aid Office can help you do lots of things. They can help you fill out your FAFSA form, check whether you qualify for anything like work study or daycare assistance at FTCC. It's a great office to know. Now there are some other important things I want to make you aware of. First, to succeed at FTCC, 
you have to be able to log into your WebAdvisor, Blackboard, and student email accounts. All official correspondence about everything from financial aid to messages from your instructors and advisors will come to your FTCC email. If you can't check it, you will miss out on important information that you need. And as we've already seen, WebAdvisor is a lifeline at FTCC. Blackboard is going to play a role even in face-to-face -face classes because instructors will use it to post grades, get reading material to you, and even quiz you over what you have learned. You cannot get by without being able to log into these platforms. Now I know, that sounds really easy, but sometimes students have trouble. Sometimes even I have trouble. So to get help with logins, there are options for you. You can visit any of the computer labs on campus or call or go by the help desk. I want to call your attention to just a few other things. First, the Student Learning Center in the VCC offers free tutoring in math, science, and writing. Did I mention it's free? The University Outreach Office in Horace Sisk 610H and its director, Lutricia Nelson, can help you with plans to transfer to a university and find programs to make that transition easier. In particular, University Outreach has programs like C-STEP, a program that guarantees students admission to and funding for UNC Chapel Hill. University Outreach can even help you choose the best classes for the major you plan to declare later. We also have an honors college here at Fayetteville Tech, and that's a great place to add another feather to your cap. FTCC has something called the Success Closet, where you can pick up interview-appropriate clothing, and we have a career center that can help you with job search tips, resume assistance, and mock interviews. FTCC also has a great veteran center in the GCB that provides community assistance and support for our FTCC soldiers and veterans. Now that we've talked about how to succeed at Fayetteville Tech, let's talk a little bit about our programs, your program in the arts and humanities, because we have so much to offer. In the Arts and Humanities, we have six associate degree programs as well as several certificate programs. The Associate of Arts degree is especially good for those who want to transfer to a four-year college or university and earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. Geared toward the humanities and social sciences, this program gives students the opportunity to take a little bit of everything – English, history, psychology, sociology, science, math, even PE. In other words, it's a great place to explore the subjects that might one day be your major and to get your general education classes out of the way. The Associate of Arts is a first step on the path to law school and for careers in things like education, government service, advertising, the media, business, social work, psychology, and a million other things. The Associate of Fine Arts is designed for students who want to specialize in music, theater, or visual arts. Students have the opportunity to hone their skills while taking the classes that will count toward a bachelor's degree at a four-year college or university. It's really amazing to see the talent on this campus when students put their work on display or stage plays. Even if you're not in the Associate of Fine Arts program, I urge you to check out the remarkable thing that those students are doing. The Health and Fitness Science Associate Degree and Certificate programs are great for anyone interested in a career in the fitness and exercise industry. Our graduates go on to do things like own a gym, work for parks and recreation departments, or the YMCA, and work for health and fitness departments in businesses and industry. The Associate and Interpreter Education degree prepares students to work as entry-level sign language interpreters and also offers in-service training for working interpreters looking to upgrade their skills. If you're watching this orientation today, you're probably in one of these programs already. But if you aren't, or if you have learned about a program that seems to fit your needs better, you can always talk to your advisor, to someone in the admissions office, or to one of the counselors in Tony Rand to help you get put into the correct program. Or you can contact any of those people just to talk about the different programs to make sure you're in the one that's right for you. Lastly, I want to encourage you to really devote yourself to the experience of being a Trojan while you're here. There are so many clubs and so many ways to be involved. There is something for everyone. 
Being involved is a great way to make your time at Fayetteville Tech more satisfying, to meet new people, and it can help pad your resume. Once again, welcome to Fayetteville Tech and the Trojan family. And remember, there's always someone here who can help you if you need it. You're not alone.